Sometimes we want to see what the most recent articles on a topic are. Sometimes we want to be able to set up a search that just keeps sending things to us. At Oregon Tech Library, you can do that with our general catalog. This video will show you how. This is the library homepage. And the big arrow is pointing to the center of the page where you can search for things in our general library resources. We're going to click on the advanced search to get a little bit more detailed. This is what the advanced search screen looks like. I've gone ahead and typed in a term, just one. You can type in as many or as few as you like. Just remember that the more terms you type in, the less results you'll get. On the other side of the screen, I've narrowed it down so that I'm only looking at things that's published within the last five years. I'm only looking at articles and I can add specific dates to that if I want. Since I'm going to want things, new items sent to my email, I'm going to leave the end date open. On our next screen, this is what our results look like. The arrow in the middle is pointing to what happens when I click on the view it. This particular article is available in full text. I can click on that and get it right now. Over on the left hand side of the screen, the arrow that's pointing down gives us all of the options. So I can narrow down this search by clicking on any one of those options. And I can add this page to my eShelf, which will allow me to come back to these articles at a later time. But I haven't logged in yet. To be able to save this query to be sent to me later, I need to sign in. That arrow in the upper right hand corner is pointing to where you can click to sign in. This is the first screen you'll see when you sign in. Go ahead and click OIT Students, Faculty, and Staff, and then you'll be able to use your Oregon Tech email or my OIT information to log on. Once you've logged in, your results will look a little bit different. So the arrow on the left hand side of the screen is now pointing to Save Query as opposed to Add Page to eShelf. Saving your query will save the search that we did at the beginning for echocardiography, articles, things published within the most recent five years. And that looks like this. So I've titled it Echocardiology. I'm having it save an alert. So it will email my results to my Oregon Tech email and you can enter in a different email here. And if no results are available at a particular time, I don't want it to send me a blank email, so I just click Don't Send. I hit Save, and I'm done. This is saved, and it will send me when there's new articles available. If I want to go back and check or change this, I can do that. This is the My Account page, which I get to by clicking on the My Account link in the upper right-hand corner and I've clicked on Queries, which is where the arrow in the middle is pointing to, and I see all of my saved queries. So the Echocardiology will email me, and I can update or send an alert by clicking the Update link. I can subscribe via RSS feeder if I want, or I can delete this. The one that's right above it for Paramatic Books is what it looks like if you haven't set it to an alert. I can always go back and redo this search that I've saved for paramedic books, but it won't necessarily email me anything. If you have questions about this process, please let us know at libtech at oit.edu. We're happy to answer your questions and help you get set up.